Is ghrelin really the hunger hormone? Hi. In this video, I'm going to discuss bariatric surgery and its influence on the level of a peptide or a hormone called ghrelin. Now, ghrelin is known widely as the hunger hormone. And the common idea and teaching is that ghrelin is a hormone generated by the stomach. And it's a hormone that is high when people are hungry. And after we eat a meal, it goes down. And this hormone, ghrelin, is released by the stomach when we're hungry and the stomach is empty. And the idea, common idea, is that ghrelin goes through the blood and crosses the blood-brain barrier and signals to a part of the brain called the hypothalamus, specifically the arcuate nucleus. And it signals uh, to the hypothalamus that we need to eat and that generates the drive and the interest in food and eating. And then after we eat, that hunger hormone goes down. Um, it's actually incorrect, all of the above, just about all of the above. Um, first of all, ghrelin, yes, it's a peptide, meaning it's a string of amino acids. It's generated in a lot of different tissues, but at highest levels in the gastrointestinal tract and highest uh, within that gastrointestinal tract in the stomach. Uh, but it's made in the duodenum, pancreas, lung, set many different tissues in the body. It turns out that if you test the level of this ghrelin hormone or peptide in people's blood, you find that in people who are obese, uh, while they're fasting, ghrelin is low. It's lower than normal. It's lower in obese individuals than in those who are lean and have a, a lower BMI. So this is counter to what is commonly taught. Um, bariatric surgery, it changes the level of ghrelin. Now, what I've heard many, many patients uh, relate is that what they've learned is that before surgery, before bariatric surgery, and they're struggling so terribly with weight, that hunger hormone is high, and that's the primary driver of their um, problem with weight and that by doing for example sleeve gastrectomy wherein we move 75 to 80 percent of the stomach that we're removing that part of the stomach that generates the ghrelin and that after sleeve gastrectomy the level of ghrelin goes down and that's why people don't feel hungry after surgery it turns out that that's totally wrong um, again in uh, folks who struggle with obesity fasting levels of ghrelin is lower than normal uh, lower than people who are lean and who don't struggle with weight. Now, it's very interesting that several studies have shown that after bariatric surgery, whether it's a sleeve gastrectomy or ruin y gastric bypass, fasting level of ghrelin goes up. And this is seen within five days of surgery, and uh, it decreases slightly after that for a period of time, but if you recheck, at six months and a year after surgery, you find that still fasting levels of ghrelin are higher after bariatric surgery than before. If we really want to understand obesity, diabetes, and these metabolic diseases, we must first understand physiology. The more we understand about physiology and the way the body normally works, the more power we have to reverse and prevent these diseases. A second point is that so many molecules, peptides, are referred to as hormones, and they're viewed as messengers that travel through the blood uh, from peripheral tissues, in this case the stomach, and they go into the brain through the blood-brain barrier, and they signal to different centers in the brain and have their effect there. Um, while that's true, uh, there's reason to believe that ghrelin acts primarily through nerves. Uh, on this channel, we've talked a lot about the vagus nerve and how many of these peptides, while they do have some potential of signaling through the bloodstream, they signal primarily through the vagus nerve. And this looks to be true with ghrelin also. The vagus nerve has receptors for ghrelin. The afferent part of the vagus nerve, in other words, that part of the vagus nerve that is signaling uh, communicating from the gut into the brain, that afferent vagus nerve, uh, those fibers, they have receptors for ghrelin. 
They also have receptors for leptin and insulin and GLP-1 and GLP-2 and on and on and on. You get the idea. So bariatric surgery does change levels of ghrelin, but in the opposite direction uh, that many people believe. As is always the case, the human body is far more sophisticated and complicated than we like to think. We want to think of simple systems, simple mechanisms of action with these hormones or peptides, but the truth is it's an incredibly highly integrated system and we're just starting to understand it. Um, so again, is ghrelin really a hunger hormone or is it more nuanced? Um, I think it probably is. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.